Гигант из Эстонии Денис Молдарев уже порядка шести лет выступает на арене промоушена ACA, проведя там 14 боев и являясь одной из самых узнаваемых фигур тяжелого веса. На свою бойцовскую карьеру в нашей стране он начал в 2011 году, подписавшись на выступление в Гран-при тяжеловесов M1 Selection. Для своих очень внушительных габаритов Денис всегда отличался высокой скоростью и разнообразной техникой, с одинаковым успехом, ведя бой как в стойке, так и в партере. В своем активе он имел и титул чемпиона Европы по боевому самбо, так и несколько триумфальных выступлений на международных турнирах по Кайван. Денис Ходу одержал четыре уверенных победы под знаменами M1 Global и стал одной из главных звезд организации в тяжелом весе. Но в феврале 2014 года на турнире M1 Challenge 45 он впервые столкнулся с противником, чьи габариты, сила и талант ничем не уступали его собственным. Им стал хорватский тяжеловес Анте Делия по прозвищу «Ходящие неприятности», который сейчас является победителем престижнейшего гран-при американского турнира ПФЛ. А на тот момент был главным проспектом тяжеловеса в Хорватии и к 23 годам тогда провел 10 боев на профессиональной арене, победив 9 из них, причем 8 досрочно. Так что зрителя ожидала бескомпромиссная разборка настоящих гигантов. M1 Global presents. Весна вместе с настоящим отечественным брендом Великорос. В магазине появились новинки для теплого сезона. Практичные и комфортные олимпийки толстовки из стопроцентного хлопкового футера станут превосходной альтернативой куртки в прохладную погоду. Невозможно представить грядущее лето без трендовой коллекции Великорос – это фантастика. Футболки лонгсливы сшиты из премиального мягкого хлопкового трикотажа и украшены эксклюзивными модными принтами от ведущих петербургских дизайнеров. И, наконец, очень важно иметь правильный головной убор. Бейсболка с сеткой комфортно сидит на голове, не позволяя ей перегреваться. В коллекции есть размеры от 52 до 63. Огромное количество дизайнов и ярких расцветок, которые подойдут для всех членов семьи. В магазине Великорос есть много и других великолепных вещей. Переходите по ссылке в описании и получайте скидку по промокоду M1. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 23 years old. He weighed in at 112.3 kilograms. He stands 196 centimeters tall and has a record of nine wins and only one loss. He is the grappling Croatia champion, Knight of Champions heavyweight winner from Gladiator Dubrovnik, Croatia, Ante Delia. And now his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 22 years old. He weighed in at 121 kilograms. He stands 201 centimeters tall. He has an unbeaten record of six wins and no losses. He is the European Combat Sambo Vice Champion. Third place winner of the World Combat Sambo Championship. He is the K1 World Championship prize winner and M1 Selection 2012 Heavyweight Champion from Mameshev Team, St. Petersburg, Denis Smoldarev! <laughs> and your referee for this bout, Marco Bruersen. Blue corner, red corner, center of three. Both know the rules. Listen to my command. Protect yourself all time. Make it a good match. Shake hands. Step back to your corner. This is our main event heavyweight super fight between, in the blue corner, Ante Delia from Croatia, and in the red corner, Denis Smolderov, the Estonian fighter representing the Mamishev team in St. Petersburg. Well, here we go with the heavyweights. Super fight. Wow, I was standing next to these guys in the ring, and they are absolutely huge. And you used to fight a heavyweight, Ian? Yeah, I'm a small for a heavyweight, but these guys are ready to rock. And some great big extensions. Box, definitely big box coming down. Small ref, first one to tee off. Small ref's going to like the stand up being a K1 champion. Delia shoots. Nice, no, safe no, by no, the no, cage. No, arm in. Nice takedown. Did a very good job there, dropping under the left hook. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really nice takedown. Obviously, the bottom half of the rage, the cage part, saved him from hitting the canvas. Don't hold, don't hold it. Two big guys in there, this is testing the rage. Oh, small red, goes for a knee, misses it. Delay, got the body lock. Small red was the one who went for the takedown and missed it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Take your head. Hold, hold position. Nothing to pick between the two so far, Ian. No, they're, they're, they're both huge guys. 
I mean, smaller end is the bigger the two, he's 121 kilograms, absolutely huge. And you could see in that video earlier, he moves really well for a, such a heavy guy. You know, he's kickboxing. Well, his back is up against the rage right now. He has the body off the old double over hooks. Sorry. I mean, Delia, 9 and 1, a grappling champion, a knife champion, a heavyweight champion. Delia throwing the knees. He does look in a lot better shape, Delia, for this fight than he has been in previous fights. Oh, he goes for the takedown, he gets it again. It was actually smaller that went for the outside trip with Delia, seen it and decided to do a sit down reversal. Took him straight to the canvas. North and south goes all the way around. The reason he had to go around there is because his arm was caught in a figure four. Smaller back to his feet. Good work. Nice double. Beautiful work. Shot down low. This is great work from big men. Delia takes the back, gets one hook in, gets two. Needs to be careful. It's kind of off centre. He has his pivot. He's in guard. Ian, this is the sort of movement we've been wanting to see from lightweight guys earlier on. Oh, guys of 121 kilos shouldn't be moving like this. Phenomenal. <laughs> but Delia, he actually tried to take that back. He was slightly off centre. He slipped around, but then the non bar attempt. You can see he's hit the work. Oh, big oh. shot! I can't. I don't know if people at home can tell how hard those shots are going in here. Heavyweight bomb. Believe you with me, we're right below the action. Well, so far, great work from both fighters. On paper, Smalls are the best striker. He's definitely the better striker. He's handed back just a bit for that, for that shot. And he was right. Because the Leo just went straight for it. Smaller just resting. His hips were back. Oh, he got took down again. The ropes have saved him. Just swinging a bit much, a bit much into those shots, and Delia's making the. He's looking for the knockout. Yeah, you know, you, 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 you sacrifice yourself too much for the knockout. It's easy for a grappler to, to shoot under and take it. Look coming from the nose of Delia. Like I said, those two bombs on the ground were bombs. The first stall of action we've had, really. A little, yeah, just a little. The body shots are going in right, under one back. minute. Great call by the ref. This is a super fight after all. People want to see action. And action is what we've got. Thirty seconds, big overhand right, drop down for the double. Again, he's waiting, timing that punch perfectly. He's timing the grip, but he's not following through with the double here. He's just grabbing the legs and he's got to drive and turn the corner. Nice sprawl. I actually think that the is getting a little bit tired now. His shots are not as crisp. And Small just seems to have got his timing a little bit, doesn't he, on the, on the shot. Oh, well, that's good work because he had the 10 second up. He didn't want to hang there. He didn't want to wait. Oh, so fun. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely so far. This has been absolutely awesome. Can I take it back up? But can I just say, during that break there, Smolder was warned by the referee not to grab the ropes again. So if he does it again, when there's a takedown attempt, he will get a yellow card. I've seen a, a heavy left hook so far this round, nothing much else. Smaller off goes for the shot, wow! Marcos, you're right in between these big guys. I would not want to be refereeing these two. Oh, you're about to get in the middle of that, also a wild shot. He gets it, he gets it, he takes the back! This was not a shot, the shot from a weird. Smolder have actually kind of stalled a little bit and that gave a chance for Delia to take the back. He needs to flatten him out here. He's trying, he's trying. But Smolder's doing the right thing, he's trying to pull him over the head. Oh, beautiful work, out the back door. Delia going for a leg. 
just non-stop action, moving like you say, like middleweights or lightweights. Delay a word on the ankle now. Go for the heel hook. He's got it on. It's there. Small dog rolling the best way. Small dog needs to be careful. Yeah, he's got Achilles himself. I won't want to stop an Achilles for a heel hook. No, no, a heel Achilles that that will snap if he if he doesn't roll with it. He needs to turn on his side, get side, you turn his side, bend the leg at an L-shaped position, it goes on much better. Take all the power out of the leg. He's done well there. But Delia is pumped up for this. You can see that between rounds, trying to get the... Oh, big shots! Then the heavy punches coming down. Huge punches in. Oh, he's chopped an arm, he's going to grab the arm and throw some punches. Delia needs to get out of there. He's still falling to the ground. He's put his stomach up, he's happy. The shots are not hurting him. They may be marking him, but they're certainly not hurting him. He's happy with that. I love his attitude, Delia. Brilliant. Keep on. Both these heavyweights so pumped for this fight, Ian. The referee has stopped it. Thermal submission. He screamed. Thermal submission. He screamed. He screamed. He's, he's a, a, a scream was enough. It's a verbal submission there from the fighter. Verbally submitted. After two minutes, 27 seconds of the second round, we have a winner due to verbal submission to a key lock, Dennis Smolder.